Hey guys, welcome back. It has definitely been a while since I have made any videos. So we are just about two months out from my competition. Um, as you can probably tell, I've put weight back on probably about 12 to 15 pounds within that time. Um, it has been a real big struggle for me. Not necessarily in the putting the weight on, but of how I am seeing myself afterwards. So if you guys do remember, I have a history of eating disorders. Um, not necessarily that it is always, um, that the root of the problem is always food, exactly. Um, just at the end of my first competition, as I was going into my second one, um, Actually, no, it was a little bit later than that. Of course, at first it was, yes, my body is hungry. I want food. I'm very lean. My body wants to get back to homeostasis. So that's kind of what it was at first. And then I feel like the problem went a little bit deeper. Um, I do have anxiety and depression on top of my eating disorders, which I do take medicine for. Um, all throughout prep, I did great. Like mindset wise, I, I seriously was, was on point. I was feeling great. I don't know exactly what happened or when that switch happened, but it did. And now I am to the point where I have actually reached out for help. Um, I know myself well enough um, I tried to do what I could to get over this on my own and realize that this problem is deeper than just the surface. Um, it's not just about me um, putting weight back on and post-show trying to accept my body image. It's, it's going deeper than that. Um, right now, my grandfather is sick. He has been in and out of the hospital and rehab now for probably about... I think tomorrow is like five weeks. So that's, I really didn't feel like it was affecting me too much. Um, not like it had been with my dad being sick, but I really, I really think I was trying to suppress it a little bit. Um, my grandfather has been a huge influence in my life. He has been very important to me. Um, and I don't know if I'm just trying to kind of push it to the side and just deal with it when when it happens but he's been sick he's been declining and I don't honestly know the outcome of this um, he just turned 89 about two or three weeks ago so he's lived a very good life up until this point um, and I just kind of feel like I'm being pulled in all different ways again I've, it's been hard for me to find my balance um, my son I still feel like I'm not giving him enough attention because I've still put so much focus on like working out and food prep and I don't know I feel like I'm being consumed by it at this point because I'm like well I was like, why am I so so uh, caught up in this when we're done like we're done the competition yes we're back in improvement season but I'm like I just I feel like I'm still too wrapped up in the numbers game and that's what's getting to me um, I'm able to sleep at night, but my dreams have been so vivid lately. I don't honestly know if this is all just a part of everything kind of going back to normal, but I know that I do need help of some sort. I have reached out. I do need some kind of therapy or someone to talk to who might honestly understand what I've been going through. It's really hard. I really don't feel like I have like many friends right now. I feel like I lost a lot of them or at least lost contact with them while I was going through my prep. And I don't know if that was, it wasn't by my choice. I still tried to be active with people and make plans. Um, but I feel like a lot of my close friends kind of pushed me to the side. I don't know. That's how I feel about it. I don't know if it's true or not. Um, I'm sure that's something we're going to find out and we're going to dive into and, and see if I'm um, perceiving things in, in the wrong way. Um, my husband was a huge supporter and I told my coach this. He was a huge supporter of me throughout this prep process. Like he was, he was behind me and I think that's what kept me going. Like it felt good to know that 
I wasn't I wasn't on this journey by myself like I had someone who actually cared and someone who wanted to see me succeed and now I feel like that it's over he's kind of like well, why don't you take a break why do you why do you keep working out and he doesn't understand it like I'm not gonna just stop working out because I'm done my competition like I enjoy working out I really do and I want to get back to that. I don't want to stop working out. I was still would like to do another competition next year. I just need to be in the right mindset again. I've lost sight of myself. I feel like I've lost my purpose or who I am. Um, like, I feel like I don't know who I am. Like, I don't feel like a bikini competitor. I felt like one at the time while I was um, in prep and while I was up there on stage. And now I feel like since I couldn't control things afterwards, I'm kind of like, who am I now? Who, who am I? Like, what am I going to do? Like, I can't even live up to my own principles that, that I want to. Um, or I try, but then it just comes unfolded. It's something that, like, I can't control. It's something so deep inside of me that I can't control it. And that's how you know when it's a problem. Um, I don't know. There's times I just, I feel alone. I feel like I don't know who I am or what my purpose is. I'm getting ready to start a new modality in imaging. I'm going back to school and doing mammo clinicals and I was really excited about it and I'm starting to question myself like where's that happiness at like why aren't you like I feel like I'm just going through the motions to get it done because it's something I wanted to do but I'm not feeling the pure happiness that I had when I decided to do it so there's definitely something going on I feel like these last couple of days I've noticed I'm wanting to sleep a little bit more or at least feeling tired not interested in stuff so I feel like that depression aspect is coming back and that's where I'm like okay I gotta shut this down because I need to be able to function um, I have I don't want to go through this I really don't I don't want to be in that dark place I I love where I was this time last year like I want to get back to that um, I'm sure prep has put me in this place but I still want to do another show next year. So I want to kind of, I want to learn some tools that I can, I can use for myself that will help me navigate through this. Like this is my first experience. Um, I didn't turn around and say, yes, I want to get an eating disorder from trying to do a bodybuilding competition. Like no one says that. Um, and I tried to do everything I could to kind of keep my focus off of it and off the food, but it was deeper than that. It had already taken another step that I wasn't able to to control. So I have been in contact with the center. I'm waiting to hear back from them just to see if we can kind of do some behavioral therapy and stuff. Um, I have a workbook that I'm going to go through and already start doing some stuff on my own while I wait to hear back from them because from my experience in the past, it has taken the process, unfortunately, seems to take a bit of time. So I'm kind of being proactive and doing what I can now because I will lose my mind if I just kind of let myself be until then. Um, I will get so far, so far like past the point that I don't want to be. So I'm trying to just stay positive, just try to like, just do what I can each day to make myself be okay. Um, while I get the process started. So I've decided as of this morning, I have not tracked any of my food in my fitness pal. Um, I still was weighing out some of my stuff and measuring it out, but I was not tracking it. I already have a good idea of like what's a serving or if I measure out like how much of that. So I, I have a good ballpark idea of being close to my macros for the day without physically like actually tracking it and I feel like that has already helped me I've already feel a little bit of relief because I'm not literally focused on every little aspect of what I'm putting in my mouth and I think that's one of the things that was really really um, getting to me because I do so good and then I'm like you know and then I've also decided hey I'm not weighing myself every day I'm just gonna tell my coach, like for my mental health right now, for me to get through this, I'm not doing it. I'll do it every other day, every two days. I can't focus on that scale every day. I feel like the only reason to focus on that is during prep anyway, when you actually need to, to really measure 
what's going on. But for me right now and my mental health, I can't do it because it does upset me because I'm like, oh, it just keeps going up. It's like, oh, because I overate yesterday or I had a little, sort of a little mini binge. Like, I mean, my binging has gotten better, but it's still, those cravings are there. And I just, I can't get past it. So I decided, I was like, I'm not weighing myself because I'm not putting my self-worth on a number anymore. I can't do it. And I know I preach this myself that it's not the only data point and it doesn't define who you are. But in my head right now, it is. It's defining who I am. And I feel like a failure because I put on so much weight so quickly and I can't stick to my my macro plan. Um, it's really, it's really, really hard when you try to be so perfect. And even I know that, that no one's perfect. And even that I'm not perfect. But I look at what I had just accomplished two months ago and I'm like, why, why are you going so far off track already? Like, how have you let yourself do this? Like you were doing so good and you try to inspire others. So I realized like, it doesn't matter. I need the help and I feel like I'm stronger for reaching out and getting the help instead of suffering because this is something that I would like to do again in the future, but I need to know how to navigate it better. I really feel like it's not necessarily about the food or the image. It, it was, everything kind of fell in place while I was in prep. Like there was nothing stressful going on in my life really. Everything was kind of controllable. And now there's things that are not controllable anymore. Um, and I think that's really stressed me out because I'm trying to control them and I'm trying to feel like I need to be everywhere at once. Like I feel like my husband and my son are both not getting the attention from me that they need. My husband has a voice that. So I do feel bad. Like I'm trying to still do what I love and still give them the attention without feeling like I'm obsessed with all this and that I'm still in prep. Um, and then I'm still, then I'm trying to be there for my mom and my grandfather. Like we're going through this situation now. And at some point I've got to, to find a balance and I, I'm having a hard time doing that. Like I, I definitely feel like I'm a failure at some things and I don't like to think that way. And usually I'm not, but that's how I know I'm not in a good place right now mentally. I need to get myself out of that. It's taken over far too much and I need to come back and realize that, you know, I do have a purpose. There is other things in life other than being a bikini competitor. Um, you know, that I have a husband and a son who, you know, I live for. Like, I love to do family things and once stuff like that becomes so obsessive that it gets in the way of other things, that's when there's a problem. So I was, I was able to handle it when we were going through prep. I'm like, okay, it's just something short term we're going to have to do. But I still kind of feel like I'm, I've neglected them enough and I don't want to do that. Um, but I still want to do things for myself. So I feel like I just need to get a better routine with things. I need to, I, do, I really do. I just need to talk things out. Like my husband's not a good talker. Um, I'm definitely going to need a therapist, someone to talk to. Like I said, I feel like I haven't really been in contact with any of my friends or done anything with my friends. And then I feel like every time they want to do something, it revolves around food. And I've been getting kind of weird about that. Like I don't, um, I don't want things to revolve around food because I've been getting weird. I feel like I've been eating out too much and I've just been doing it to kind of like go along with it so people don't think there's anything wrong with me. And I'm like, I'm just, and then I'm physically getting uncomfortable with myself. So, it, cause it's hard for me to, to stop. Cause I'm at, I'm having, you know, a mental crisis right now. I'm not at, a, I'm not in a good place where I need to be and food is just helping me cope. That's all it is. So, I need to find another way to cope, another way to deal with this, and we'll get back there again because I know I've been there before and it is a great feeling. And that's all I have to say really for now. I'm just gonna try working on myself day to day. I'm not focusing on those numbers. I'm not letting them rule my day or see how my day goes. I'm just kind of, I'm just letting it roll off my back. I can't. I can't stress about it anymore. We'll get back to it at one point, but for right now, it's not what I need. And I'm gonna need my coach to understand that as well 
because I still want to continue to put on muscle. I still want to come back next year and do this again. I just want to be mentally stronger for it. Um, so this is going to start my journey of getting help for my eating disorder. So I'll keep you guys updated. Um, different things I find that might help myself through this um, and just kind of share how this how this has affected me I'm not saying that any person who wants to compete in the future is going to deal with this you may you may not um, this has been my way throughout my life of how when things get very stressful for me um, it's how I handle it it's been like that like when my husband deployed I went through this um, of course, when I was a teenager, I went through like a breakup with a boyfriend or whatever. I dealt with this. Um, this has been recurrent in my life of ways that I, I feel like things build up, build up, build up, and then that's how it comes out. So it's kind of like I do really, really, really good, and then I hit that bottom. And right now I'm at that bottom. So I just need to get out from under there and back up again and proactively keep myself there so because like I said it's not necessarily about the food or the body image for me um, that comes along with it and then I kind of value myself off of that but that's not the cause of me overeating and wanting to binge um, it's really not it's more of me having a feeling of control and I feel like I've lost control right now so I need to get it back I need to change my negative thinking um, and like I said, I just want, want this to be a tool or another resource for anyone else who may be going through this. Like I said, it's not necessarily that just because you do a bikini competition and get very lean that this is going to happen to you. I'm not trying to say that at all. And I'm not trying to diagnose anybody or cure anybody. I'm just specifically giving my point of view of how things are affecting me and how I'm going to get through this and come back out the other side. Um, cause I've been there before and I know it's not the end. So this is just another journey to, to follow me on, to see how we handle it. Um, I know there's not always a lot of help out there for people with eating disorders. Um, or it's maybe hard to even relate sometimes because they're so, so far on a spectrum like some people deal with it from such an early age some people develop it later on in life um, a lot of time like it could be from any kind of you know there's different traumas and triggers for different people um, and I've learned that throughout the years especially with my own my own history of this um, realizing what triggers me and I just need to to learn to handle it um, in a more constructive way that's all so <clears throat> like I said like we're always growing we're always learning about ourselves you never are going to be the perfect person you're never going to be 100% um, like finished you're always learning you're always growing and you should be open to that throughout life because it's just to make you a better person along the way and it is about the journey it's not about where you're going to end up it's about that journey finding out who you are and what you're capable of and what what your limits are um, maybe even trying to break those limits so <clears throat> I welcome you guys to follow me along this journey and hopefully we will be back in in a place where where I feel much more balanced and feel like I will be able to compete again at some point next year